Huggy Wuggy is a toy created by the Playtime Co. Toy Company and later was part of the Bigger Bodies initiative. The Huggy Wuggy toy was created in 1984 and became Playtime Co.'s most popular toy. The following year, Kissy Missy was created as a female version of Huggy, but we won't be talking about her in this video. Mini Huggies were also made as a lower priced version of Huggy and came in yellow, red, green, and blue. We'll talk about them more later. After the disastrous release of the Smiling Critters, Playtime Co. was struggling. On top of all that, employees kept seeing things they shouldn't have and accidents were leading to lawsuits. To fix this, Harley Sawyer, also known as the Doctor, proposed the Bigger Bodies Initiative. I'm here now with a solution. The Bigger Bodies Initiative. Giant toys. We can increase our workforce and simultaneously decrease the number of lawsuits and people on our payroll if the people we have working aren't people. Put me in charge of it, and I will save this company. The company was desperate to turn things around, so the doctor got to do whatever he wanted. Playtime Co. had an on-site orphanage full of children they can use for their experiments, and no one would know if anything happened to them. Huggy was very likely one of these children who was experimented on and turned into the bigger body Huggy Wuggy. In Log 08502, it stated that Huggy was the optimal outcome for the bigger body's experiment. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. The security team got lazy and used Huggy to do their job, and he was placed in the lobby. On March 30th, 1991, an employee in the IT department named Ron Stoll contacted Leith Pierre, the head of innovation at Playtime Co., and said that tour guests had complained that Huggy seemed to be looking at them. Look, if some, if some creep is hiding nanny cams in our mascot's eyeballs, then uh, something that needs to be taken seriously. Rowan believed that Huggy had cameras in his eyes, but later backtracked on the statement and said he would stop looking into it. I talked to the uh, maintenance guy, and he admitted that he had not done his due diligence and maintaining Huggy, so his eyes probably just... I'm, I'm not looking into it anymore. And I mean, not that there was anything to look into in the first place. In reality, he planned on releasing confidential company information, likely relating to the bigger body's experiments. Rowan was killed by Boxy Boo before he could go through with this. On June 18th, 1992, at 10.27pm, Huggy escaped from the Playtime Co. factory. The security team got lazy and forgot to keep an eye on Huggy, resulting in him escaping through a vent. Huggy fled the factory through an open delivery bay door in the production wing. Two staff members witnessed this and hit the emergency alarm. At 10.30pm, all the Playtime Co. security staff began pursuing Huggy. At 10.38 p.m., the security team attempted to surround Huggy at a railroad crossing. Three rounds of tranquilizer were fired into him, but he was only hit once in the leg and managed to flee into the woods. The security team split up into smaller groups to follow Huggy on foot. From 10.50 p.m. to 3.38 a.m., the search team expanded over four square miles and extended into nearby residential areas. At 11.34 p.m., a security team member is attacked and killed by Huggy. In total, five security team members are killed and six are missing. At 3.38 a.m., a camera feed shows Huggy standing outside a house, presumably his childhood home. Shortly after this, Huggy is captured and taken back to Playtime Co. On August 8th, 1995, another experiment known as the Prototype enacted the Hour of Joy. A mass rebellion where the bigger bodies experiments killed almost all the Playtime Co. employees, regardless of whether they are innocent or guilty. In the main lobby, Huggy is seen suddenly attacking people, and in a VHS tape, it's implied that Huggy killed a scientist. So that the same mistake won't be made twice. We must forge onwards in the name of science, whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of- It's also likely that Huggy helped with dragging all the human corpses into the depths of the factory. Huggy is also a main antagonist in the multiplayer game Project Playtime. After the Hour of Joy, Leith Pierre sends a team to extract parts from the Playtime Co. factory. The bigger bodies experiments like Huggy try to stop the extraction team from collecting these parts. When playing as Huggy, you often have to crouch to fit under lower ceilings, but he has a speed boost that allows him to catch up to other players. Huggy can also place down mini Huggies to detect other players and alert Huggy to their location. When Huggy catches up to players, he squeezes them tightly to incapacitate them. He then picks them up and deposits them in a hatch. Other players can rescue people from these hatches, so Huggy needs to make sure that doesn't happen. After Project Playtime, the events of Poppy Playtime occur. Ten years after the Hour of Joy, the player returns to find all their missing co-workers, and the first monster they encounter is Huggy. 
Huggy watches as the player enters the lobby and later disappears. He then continues to stalk them throughout the factory. Later when the player is leaving the make a friend machine, Huggy ambushes them. Huggy towers over the player and chases them into the vents. The player eventually escapes Huggy and ends up in a giant room with catwalks. When Huggy lunges out of the vents, the player drops a box on them, making him fall off the catwalks and down into the abyss. While Huggy doesn't appear in Chapter 2, there are some things relating to him. During one of the minigames, the player has to fend off against a swarm of mini Huggies. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. And after failing to kill the player, the Huggies are killed by Mummy Longlegs. In the water treatment plant, there's also a trail of blue fur and blood leading away to a vent. This might imply that Huggy survived the fall, or that the prototype dragged him away to make Huggy part of himself. In Chapter 3, Huggy has a couple of cameos. In Home Sweet Home, the player experiences an extreme nightmare caused by Catnap's red smoke. In this nightmare, the player watches a VHS tape that slowly becomes more sinister. Should you come back, years later, your conscience finally getting the better of you, may you descend into the dark and the dust. Finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors, each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow, their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic, watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left. A world that's theirs now. Welcome home. In a pretty surprising moment, a Nightmare Huggy emerges from the TV and chases after the player. Nightmare Huggy will eventually attack the player, ending the nightmare. After escaping home sweet home, Poppy tells the player that they killed Huggy, strongly implying that he is indeed dead. We've all seen you! How capable you are! You killed Huggy! Towards the end of the chapter, the player has another nightmare. In this nightmare, we see familiar locations, and we see Huggy himself. The scene then changes to the main lobby, with Huggy missing and screaming all around. The prototype's hand then reaches towards the player. This is likely a representation of the Hour of Joy. Huggy is gone because he's killing people in the prototype's plan of revenge. For now, that's where Huggy's story ends. If you're a fan of horror games, you might like my videos about Five Nights at Freddy's and the Bendy series. We also have a variety of content coming out on our channel, subscribe so you don't miss that. If you want to support our channel and help fund future videos, please consider donating to our Ko-Fi. Thanks for watching, and check out some of our other videos.